All right, so here's one of uh, my favorite patterns because it, it ended up being uh, challenging in a way that kind of gives us into the insight of function transformation. So uh, we have step zero, step four, and step eight of this function. And what I encourage you to do is analyze, uh, let's ignore the height and the width for a moment. Let's just look at um, the color pixels and how they change, right? We've got brown pixels in the beginning, and I see these red, yellow, green, and blue pixels. And what we're going to do is focus on the way that those pixels change um, from step to step. So I'm going to kind of jump ahead and fill in uh, what the table is for this function uh, to show what happens um, to those colors. So if we look at, let's say, let's say we have our step number, and we look at uh, step zero, step one, two three, four, five, six. We'll, we'll go up to step six. And if we were to look at the, the colors of the pixels we have here, just shifting through my notes. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> and we start with red. Okay, well, red is going to start off at zero, right? There's zero red pixels. There's just brown. And then uh, by step four, um, we've got all this stuff here. Um, in step one, we added four red pixels. Here they are, one red pixel, two red pixels, three, four red pixels, and then we don't add any red pixels uh, again, right? So that's step one, and step two is yellow, step three is this green, and step four is blue. And then um, later on, here's step eight, but you can see that right here, right? If I just kind of outline this here. We've got, I think drawn correctly there, if I outline that correctly, uh, we've got those red pixels again. So that's, what is that? That's step, step four is here, that's step five. So in step five, there are eight red pixels. So we have four red pixels until we get to step five, at which point we have eight red pixels, and then it stays at eight. And what happens if you look at uh, each of these, so we go to yellow next, there are no yellow pixels until step two, right? And then it stays at four yellow pixels until we get to step six, at which point there are eight red pixels. And then if we go um, further, look at the blue pixels. Now there are no blue pixels until step three. It's the first time the blue pixels appear, and then it stays at four blue pixels uh, until step seven. So I'm gonna actually go further and add step seven. So we can see that. And maybe I'll have to add uh, a few more, and that's okay. So this is still be eight red pixels, eight yellow, and eight blue. And then we look at the green pixels. So the green stays at zero until step four. It's the first time they appear. And then it stays at four green pixels until step eight. And that's how far I'll go. There are eight red pixels, eight yellow, eight blue, and finally eight green. So when we look at this, we need to write equations that represent this kind of growth. And uh, what Grace did was she wrote her red function, R of t. And uh, the, what we wrote was it's 4 times the, the step time number on divided by 4 rounded up. So for example, uh, if I want to find um, R of 0, that would be this spot right here. This is R of 0. Oops, that is not written well. This is r of 0 here, and that equals 0. Oh boy, it doesn't look good. I'll just write it right here. This is r of 0. And I'm not writing an equal sign. Sorry, I just can't fit it. This is r of 1. This is r of 2. This is r of 3, and so on and so forth. Now, let's just test to make sure this, this works. So for example, if I plug in 2, I should get four. If I plug in three, I should also get four. If I plug in four, I should get four. And if I plug in five, I should get eight. I'm gonna plug in four and five. You can test the others. If I plug in four, I do four divided by four is one, rounded up, stays at one, times four is four. So that's, this works, right? The red pixels at step four is still four. Remember, these brackets mean round up. They're called ceiling brackets. Then red at step five, is it eight? Well, let's see. Five divided by four is one and a fourth. But one and a fourth rounded up is two, because you round up if there's anything to round. 
and 2 times 4 is 8. It works. Now, the trouble for, for us in this was that for yellow, blue, and green, um, right, we didn't know how to write the equations for those pixels. Why? Well, because previous to this, we could use this idea that the number outside the brackets represents kind of the slope or the jump between each step. And then the denominator here dividing by is the length of a step. In other words, there are four fours, and four eights, and then four twelves. Uh, there are four repeating numbers. So if we divide by four, that allows us to round up or down appropriately. But the yellow, blue, and green do all those things. In other words, yellow starts off right, at nothing, hops to four, stays at four for four fours, stays at eight for four eights, and so on and so forth. And blue and green does the same thing. But, but they can't all have the same equation, right? So, so one realization to make, to start to break this down, was that the red, um, the red pixels, right, if we take them and say, okay, let's just draw this diagonal here, that equals the number of yellow pixels. For example, these are all equal, right? This zero is equal, this is equal, and these eights are equal, so on and so forth, right? Those numbers are equal. And I can keep drawing this chain down. So if I go two steps later, I get the blues, right? Those numbers are all equal, right? And the same is true for the greens as well. These numbers are all equal along these diagonals. I want to fix that diagonal. That is really confusing. So these diagonals are all equal. All right, so what does that mean? Well, it tells us something. It tells me that if I want to find this number, let's just circle this one. What is this number? This is G, the green pixel, at step four. If I want to find the green pixel at step four, what could I do? Well, I could look at a couple of things. I could look at how many blue pixels were there in step three, how many yellow pixels were there in step two, and how many red pixels were there in step one. So we get this realization, okay, the red pixels at step one equal the following. The yellow pixels at step two which equal the blue pixels at step three, which equals the green pixels at step four. This is true across the board. So I want to think about this more generally. The red function, as a visit of time, equals the y function when. Well, when the red is one less, right? the input's one less than what we have for y. So what we're talking about. Well, if I want to know what y of two is, I find red of one. Right, so if I take this, if I write this statement, this relates the yellow and the red function. This says, all right, you want to know what yellow of 2 is? Okay, we'll find red of 2 minus 1, which is red of 1. Okay, well, if I want to know what blue is, then what do I do for blue? Well, blue, as a function of time, blue at the third step equals red at the first step. So I want to find blue at any step. I just find the red two steps before it. And if I want to find the green in any step, I look at the red, well, one, two, three steps before it. So I write r of t minus three. And this is, I'm almost done now. Now I need to kind of turn this into an equation. So to do that, I'm going to clear off some space here. Now what I'm going to do, this is for Grace, I'm going to do the first two, and then I'm going to ask her to do the second two on her own. So what I'm talking about is, let's say I want to have yellow. I'm going to write this in black. So I'm not going to write in yellow, it's too hard to read. What is the function for yellow pixels? Well, yellow is going to equal, we just said, it equals r of t minus 1. And I'm going to use this equation for red as a template. So I know that the red function equals 4 times our input. Now our input's whatever is in our parentheses. I put t here because t was inside our parentheses. Well, now I'm putting t minus 1. And then we take that and divide by 4. So this is actually the equation for the yellow um, pixels. And let's just try it. Let's say I want to find yellow at 5 and 6. Let's compare those two. Yellow at 5, yellow and 6. And this is the work you want to show. So yellow at 5 equals r at step 4, or 5 minus 1. And that's going to equal this, 4 of 4 5 minus 1, which is 4, over 4. Now what does it equal? 4 divided by 4, rounded up, is 4 times 4, 
So sorry, four divided by four is one, rounded up is one, times four is four. There are four yellow pixels at step five. Okay, what about step six? Well, that's gonna equal r of six minus one. In other words, if you wanna know what happens in the sixth step of yellow, look at the fifth step of r. Now, you can look at your table to figure that out. The fifth step of r is eight, or we could use this equation, which is more powerful. Uh, because obviously, if I had really high numbers for yellow, like yellow of a thousand or a million, you don't want to look at a table and draw it all the way up for red. To figure it out, you want to be able to calculate it quickly. So here it's r of 6 minus 1, which is 4 times the, the quotient of 6 minus 1 divided by 4 rounded up. So that's 5 divided by 4 rounded up is 2 times 4 is 8. And that's correct, right? At 6, there are 8 yellow pixels. Now, uh, what about step 100? Well, if I want to know yellow at step 100, and I do want to see these at step 100. I find red at step 99 basically. So that would be 4 times basically 99 divided by 4 rounded up. Okay so 100 divided by 4 would be 25. So 99 uh, divided by 4 is 24 point something. Right? It's 1 fourth less so it's uh, 24 and 3 fourths. Um, but the point is it's not 25, it's less than 25, it's 24, but 24 rounded up is 25, 24 point something, excuse me, rounded up is 25, times 4 is 100. There are 100 yellow pixels at step 100. Isn't that convenient? Now, that's one of them. And in fact, I'm going to stop here because the video might be getting too long, but I want to see the same process drawn out for both blue and green pixels. Show this work here. Thanks.